could end up being a huge storyline in this one. Miles Garrett versus the Steelers offensive line. Who has the advantage here? Well, for me, you know, the, the great obvious choice might be Miles Garrett. He is ranked fourth with seven sacks, but I got to go with this offensive line. I mean, it's a veteran group. They've been together since 2016. And I think with this week off, you know, preparing with a common opponent, they're going to do a great job getting it together, you know. So if you look here, you know, Miles Garrett week one, he got the best of Alejandro Villanueva, who essentially people look at as the weak link. But you see here, got through, got the stri uh, strip sack. I believe he had two sacks this game. But what I do love is that, once again, they're a veteran group. So they're going to regroup, get it together. And you see here, Villanueva does a great job against Carlos Dunlap, who they did pay $45 million. So he does a great job here. Giving him time so Ben can get out there and get the ball here. What I love here, great, is what he does. He kick steps. Perfect, right? Attacks, drops his weight, and does just enough to give Ben just enough time to get the ball out. Once again, versus Atlanta. Clean pocket, veteran O-line. They're going to figure it out. They're going to get it together. They've been together for a long time. Just enough time to get my man A.B. the ball in for a touchdown. So I do love this offensive line. I think this is what makes them go. This is why they're able to be so productive. Experience so important Experience, when you're talking about especially offensive in the trenches. line. Uh, as you mentioned, seven sacks for Garrett. Ward has three picks on the back. And the entire Steelers defense has four, to put that in perspective. He did a great job on A.B. the first game. Yes, That's what did. I got him. That's what I got him over Chubb. Uh, Brown Steelers is a one o'clock game. So is Ravens Panthers. James, I am excited for this one. Feels like a really got, even, James? evenly matched game, no? This is a big time matchup we got going on. We got a little tail of the tape. Listen, we always got to start with the quarterbacks. And y'all see Super Cam over there. But listen, you got to put some respect on JoJo, and that's Joe Flacco's name. Listen, 11 touchdowns, four picks, just like Cam. But 700 more passing yards, I got to give this one to Joe Flacco. And then at running backs, it's hard to go away from McCaffrey right here. Catches the ball out the backfield, runs with the best of them. I got to give this one to Carolina. And then receivers. Listen, they got a three-headed monster over here. You got Willie Sneed. You got John Brown. You got Crabtree. That's why JoJo is having such a big-time year. I got to give this one right here to the Baltimore Ravens. And then defense. I know, Lindsey, you see a 1,000 sacks a game over there. But listen. Carolina Panthers defense takes the ball away. They have three more turnovers right now. Then Joe Flacco and them Ravens. I got to give this one right here to Carolina. And then coaching. James. Coaching. James. Ron, Ron, you know I love you. Ron Rivera, coach of the year. No, I'm playing. I already gave that to Marvin Lewis. But Ron Rivera is the better coach in this one right here. Back to you, Scott. Take it away. I'm, I'm just going to say right. one team here is first in total D scoring D yards per pay allowed and sacks and opponent completion percentage, and it's not the Panthers D. That's wow. all. A good co-host just lets well Lindsay go on her riff when she wants okay, to. Thanks. That's okay. She had a thing about that whole Ravens defense. James, you and Lindsay talk that out. Meanwhile, we've got a good one in the AFC West brewing. Denver and Kansas City. Now, the Chiefs have won six in a row in this series. That's one side. And, and in the last four games, Von Miller... The donut in terms of sacks, zero for the former defensive MVP. So, Sean O'Hara, Super Bowl champion with us right here. Uh, Denver looked good the last time they played on, on Thursday Night Football. That was against the Arizona Cardinals. This is a different animal. How could yeah. they possibly pull off the upset here? Well, for the Broncos, two things that got to happen. They've got to tackle Kareem Hunt, and Case Keenum's got to make some throws in the red zone. So let's start with Kareem Hunt, and how does this Denver Broncos tackle him? They've missed 28 tackles in the last three weeks, Scott. That's fifth most in the NFL. Well, Kareem Hunt last week, 129 yards. How did he do it? This is how. All right, you've got an unblocked defender right here in the backfield. This should be a tackle for a loss, but Kareem Hunt, oh, yeah, he's going to slip and slide right there with a spin move. He had 93 yards after contact, Scott. Great. So Kareem Hunt's slippery. And even when you've got a guy in the backfield, this play should be over. This should be a tackle for a loss. But it's not. Kareem Hunt, he's got a great little jump cut. So this is what Denver's got to do. They've got to find a way to stop him. They've given up more rushing yards in the last three weeks than any team in the league. Now here's the second part. Case Keenum in the red zone. You've got to speed out right here with Demarius Thomas. Let it rip, pal. I don't know what he's doing. Let it rip. All right, you know what? The touchdown, how about the first down, Scott? Yeah. Then you got the first down to the tight end right there. He shakes both of them off, throws the ball away. And that's third down to kick a field goal. You need touchdowns if you're going to beat Mahomes. All right, we're going to throw a fade route to the tight end. Now, he's got a great split here. He gives his quarterback room to throw this ball to the sideline. Scott, look where this ball lands. Seven yards out of bounds. He yeah, hits a photographer right uh... here. John Elway said Case Keenum was our guy because last year he was one of the best in the red zone. 17 touchdowns, no interceptions. And Denver was awful in the red zone. So they brought in Case Keenum. Guess who leads the league right now in interceptions in the red zone? Aich. Case yeah. Keenum. He's yeah. got three. So he's a little bit 
gun shy right now when it comes to throwing that football. He's got to make some big throws if he wants to keep up with Patrick. Kansas City averages 37 points per game. Do they get more or less in this game against Denver? I'm going to say less. Divisional less, okay. games, you know, I mean, look, you mentioned it's the second time they're playing, but it only takes a couple of throws from Holmes to kind of, you know, take the over. Yep. Number one scoring offense. Thanks, Sean.